Joining us tonight, Pastor Robert Jeffress, member of the White House Faith Initiative, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, and author of the new book, Praying for America, available now. We recommend it to you highly. Pastor, great to see you. And let's thank you. Let's start with the the, the very idea uh, in this country that we cannot come together. There is so much division, uh, so much racial animus uh, at work in this country, and much of it uh, fostered and exploited and driven by uh, left-wing ideologues, including Marxists and uh, and. Uh, uh, activists of all sorts uh, in the streets of this country, the major cities in particular. Well, that's right, Lou. And look, I take this pandemic seriously, but all of these attempts by Newsom, de Blasio, Cuomo, all of these attempts to try to shut down worship services or limit them are completely unconstitutional. I mean, the fact is, there is no constitutional guarantee that allows people to gather in bars, restaurants, malls, or movies, but the First Amendment promises the right to assemble together in worship. And what is happening here is absolutely wrong. Unless these government officials are willing to shut down protest, unless they are willing to shut down television and news media outlets, they cannot shut down worship services because all three of those activities protest, the press, and certainly worship are protected by the same First Amendment. Well, it could get a little confusing, couldn't it, because you have churches with various ideological viewpoints uh, who are either protesting, demonstrating, or uh, taking uh, out initiatives uh, in support of that ideology uh, based on, in part, their faith. Uh, at what point then does uh, Governor Newsom and others decide, well, this you can do and that you can't do. I mean, it's an outrageous uh, infringement uh, on liberty uh, for, the, for the governor and other governors to take the action they have. Well, that's exactly right. You know, when people were protesting the fact that our church was still open, somebody said to me, said, Pastor, instead of calling this a worship service, if you'll just call it an in-house protest, that'll go over okay with the left. So we may change the names of worship to protest. Well, that's probably that in this uh, upside down uh, turmoil uh, uh, world of ours, uh, probably would work. Uh, you know, good is bad and evil is uh, even uh, better, uh, according to some. Let, let's turn to the evangelicals and their support. The latest poll showing 88% uh, of, uh, of uh, evangelicals will support the president. Uh, also, there's a poll showing 88% of black voters will support Biden. Uh, analyze those two, uh, those two snapshots uh, for what they're worth. Well, look, you've heard all of this fake news out that evangelicals are going to defect to Joe Biden. That is malarkey. As you cited, there's a new Pew poll out that shows that more than 80 percent of evangelicals say they're going to vote again for President Trump. And only 17 percent of evangelicals are going to vote for Joe Biden. The fact is he'll never get more than 17 percent, Lou, because nobody who is serious about his or her faith is going to vote for Joe Biden for one reason. And that one reason is his support of unrestricted abortion. Joe Biden believes that you ought to be able to abort a baby even when it's in the birth canal of the mother. To most people, that is absolutely barbaric. And of course, Biden tries to hide that by saying, well, personally, I'm against abortion, but I can't impose those beliefs on the people at large. That's like saying, I'm personally against murder, but I don't believe that uh, belief ought to be imposed on other people through the legal system. It is complete baloney. Even his own church sees through that, and that's why he's been denied communion by the Roman Catholic Church. I believe that nobody who takes his faith seriously is going to end up voting for Joe Biden. Pastor, always good to talk with you. Thanks for being here. Pastor Robert Jeffress.